Hey everyone, so I'm trying to do the vlog thing again, and between trips that we're taking around Europe, I thought I would talk about my favorite thing in the world, cruises. I absolutely love cruises. We go on one every year um, for the past, like, I don't know, a couple years, ever since we've been married. Um, and I just have been watching a lot of cruise vlogs <laughs> lately because I'm obsessed with cruises. And I've seen like a few people mention in theirs, whether it's like before, during, or after their cruise, that they are like, I didn't know that I could pack this, or I tried to pack this and it got taken away, or like just like little things that they didn't realize. And I'm insane. And like before we went on our first cruise, I did so much research. I Googled and Pinterest and did everything and anything you could to get ready for a cruise because I had never been on one before. And so I feel like with that combined with like the four cruises that we've been on, they've each been pretty different. Um, I've been on four, I've done three different itineraries and I've only been on Royal Caribbean cruises, but I don't know, just from like watching vlogs and like my own personal experience and the research I've done, I kind of have compiled like my own packing tips and rules and stuff like that. And uh, I have to say up front that like this, the tips and the stuff that I have to offer are uh, for some who cruising is just a couple, just Connor and I. I think a lot of the stuff that I read had prepared me for a cruise on like a really massive ship for like a longer itinerary and possibly with a family when it was, when our first cruise was just Connor and myself um, on a shorter itinerary, I think it was three nights on a smaller ship. So I <laughs> kind of like have just learned over the course of these cruises, like what's appropriate to pack for a seven night cruise as opposed to a three night cruise. And like, if you're going to be on a bigger ship, like Oasis of the Seas or a smaller one, like Jewel of the Seas or Majesty of the Seas. So if you're packing as a couple or if you have a family, so these are just tips that I have to offer for a couple, um, going on a cruise. Um, so I think that to start, it starts with your actual luggage, like what you're going to actually use to pack. I pack in two bags. I have um, like my actual luggage and then I'll have a smaller bag. So I'm going to start with the bigger luggage. Um, so depending on how long your cruise is, if it's like a three night cruise you and you're a light packer, you might be able to get away with your bigger piece of luggage being a carry on. This especially helps if you're flying to where you're sailing out of. Connor and I usually always were or have been flying in. So if your bigger bag is a carry on, that's great. Um, but I mean, if if it doesn't matter to you, like if it's a checked size bag or carry on, whatever, then maybe a bigger bag is better for you. Um, I usually tend to have like a checked bag size piece of luggage and then a smaller bag, like a backpack. So with that bigger bag, whatever you choose to be your bigger bag, whether it's carry on sized or checked size, um, that's where you want to put stuff that you won't mind seeing until later in the day because what you're going to do with that big piece of luggage is when you get to the port you're going to give it to a porter and they're going to take it and handle it getting on the actual ship with the porters it's appropriate to tip them just like a couple dollars <laughs> personally I've never been able to tip them because they're so stinking fast like they have my bag and then they're gone and I'm like I didn't get to tip you you don't have to tip them a lot like with us they're typically only taking two bags like a dollar or two is fine if you're with a family of more bags maybe like three to five I, it's really up to your discretion you don't even have to tip them at all it is kind of like expected though and it's nice they appreciate that um I highly recommend you letting them take your bags, except for one that you're going to want to keep with you. I'll get to that in a minute. But honestly, you don't want to have to have them all over with you when you're on the ship. Um, you can't get to your stateroom until like typically one to three o'clock in the afternoon anyway. So just let them take it. Just let them take it. Um, so they're going to take your big bag. And some people are probably like, Dude, but I don't want to use too big of a bag because what if my stateroom is small? Here's the thing I've also learned is it super duper helps to unpack whatever that piece of luggage is. So when you get on the ship, like you, like I said, you probably can't go straight to your stateroom. Maybe you can. I don't know. I don't know why you would want to. You probably should just go hang out at the pool anyway. That's what I do. But at some point you go to your stateroom um, and if your luggage has been delivered by that point, unpack it. Uh, like I said, I can only really speak to Royal Caribbean staterooms, but I have had great experiences in the past with there being more than enough shelving, closet space, drawers, and so I always unpack my luggage. Connor usually just like 
takes the stuff out of his luggage and puts it somewhere. But I will put stuff in the drawers, in the shelves. I'll hang up my formal wear. Pro tip, if you're on a shorter cruise, like a three-night sailing, you'll have one formal night. If you're on a longer one, like a seven-night, you'll have two formal nights. Um, but just unpack it. And then your suitcase is empty. And then I just shove it under the bed. And then it's out of the way. And then throughout the week, as things are dirty, I'll fold them, put them in a plastic bag, put them back in my luggage. And the last night of the cruise, I don't have to spend as much packing time. Just a pro tip. But I mean, honestly, like I think it's really important to take those extra couple minutes and unpack your bag. And then you get used to your cabin. And you can like look over your cruise compass, which is... A really important piece of paper you'll get every day that'll tell you what's going on on the ship, what time activities are, advice about like your port of calls and whatnot. So I just, I think that's really important. So don't necessarily let the size of your bag and the size of your stateroom intimidate you because I think that you'd be surprised with how much room you get. There's going to be a second bag and that's the bag that you're going to carry on you. I don't care if it's a backpack. It's typically a backpack for me, a tote bag anything kind of like that that you don't mind carrying for a couple hours I'm gonna highly recommend it's not a carry size or carry-on size bag because you're gonna be carrying it with you on the ship so you don't give this bag to the porter you keep it with you definitely make sure it has all of your important travel documents your passport your driver's license your boarding pass everything like that any medication you might need throughout the day sunscreen a bathing suit a change of clothes because you can go to the pool. Once you get on the ship, you can go eat, you can go to the pool. You can enjoy like a lot of different things until your stateroom is ready and until the sail away party. So take advantage of that. I always try to. So that's why, so like we don't go to the stateroom right away, but we will go to the stateroom like shortly after they open so that we can drop those backpacks off because they get heavy. But uh, I highly encourage you to take something with you that first day, even if it's just like a bigger purse for a guy, probably a backpack, but and you can have like all those things I said, sunscreen, a bathing suit, a change of clothes. You can have some, a cell phone charger. You can have some of your conveniences with you until your stateroom is open. It's super important, I guess, if you're traveling with family. But like I said, it's just usually Connor and myself. So those are like the two pieces of luggage that I highly recommend. I don't know if you want to travel with more than two pieces of luggage per person. That might get to be a little much, but 